I'm Bob from Plastic Pipe Shop. We're used to people asking us odd questions about our pipe and we never seem to be amazed by the different uses that people put it to. A question we're often asked frequently is how flexible is PVC furniture grade pipe? Furniture grade pipe has a thicker wall than standard PVC pipe that you would find in the UK. I've got a piece of standard one inch pressure pipe here and you can see when we compare it to the furniture grade pipe the wall is much thinner. This makes the furniture grade pipe very rigid and to give you an idea what bend there is in it I've got some three metre lengths of half inch all the way up to one and a half inches. So as you can see the half inch has quite a bit of flex in it. If you're making a frame out of this size and of this length it would need to be fixed to a wall or something else solid to stop it wobbling around. If you're making something small with only a metre length you can see that's actually quite rigid. The flexibility is a factor of the length. The shorter the length, the more rigid your structure will be. Moving up to three quarter inch, there's a bit more rigidity, but for a large frame and long lengths, it'll still need quite a lot of support. By the time you get to one inch pipe, it's becoming much stiffer. There we go. Inch and a quarter pipe has hardly any flex in it at all, and it's this size that's commonly used for making sunbeds, shower chairs, and other types of furniture or rigid structures. By the time we reach the inch and a half pipe, there's no movement at all. We need to remember, however, that the strength and stability of a structure isn't only down to the rigidity of the material. A lot of it is due to the design of the structure. With intelligent design incorporating bracing that locks a frame in place, you can build a much firmer structure with a smaller pipe. Slip tees are a great way to brace, and we have a link to that video on the i button appearing now. Thanks for watching. Bye.